Hello, my friends. Welcome back. I'm Brett Larkin. Today, we're exploring a somatic yoga flow. And somatic means that we're really focused on moving our energy down into our body to connect with our emotions. And in this sequence, to really focus on releasing tension from our low back, neck, and hips, which are problem areas for so many of us. The best somatic work is self-guided. So I'm gonna be giving you suggestions of things to do on the screen and you can always look. But the ideal scenario is that you start to close your eyes, go within, and your movements might look very different from what I'm doing on the screen and that is totally okay. Let's get started. Take a moment right now to take your left hand on top of your right. Close your eyes, just come to a comfortable seated position and use this mudra of the hands just above the pelvis, below the navel, a little bit in front of your body to help you draw your energy down. Noticing your breath, is it dry or moist? Long and slow or short and rapid. Just tuning into how you're breathing as you visualize your energy like a waterfall moving down from your head towards your palms. Becoming aware of your hips. Scanning up your body for any tension. And then allowing that awareness to draw back down into your palms. Taking the palms of your hands now, turning them over and gently caress or rub your thighs as you start rocking the body forward and back. You can allow the music to move you. Just a gentle pelvic rocking with the hands connected on the thighs. You can keep rocking or find some stillness. We're gonna move just the right shoulder. So shrugging it up, down and back. Up, down and back. See if the head wants to get involved. You could take the left ear to the left shoulder if that feels good. really like to sit up on a cushion or maybe you have a pillow if you're going to come back to this routine just having something under my sits bones under my groin that I can really feel into so that rocking motion really gives me a sense of my lower body isolate the opposite shoulder maybe rolling the head and neck forward and back, seeing how big you can make the shoulder movement. Maybe right ear to right shoulder. And take your palms behind you now where you're seated seated, lift the chin, take it over to the right and then down and to the left, just opening the chest, opening the front of the throat, you can make this an expression of how you're feeling deep within you. Eyes closed once you have the movement. Maybe the chin makes a big half circle up towards the sky. I'm still kind of
kind of rocking my pelvis. So if that feels good, you can do that too. Exploring with the chin, like you had a paintbrush on it, you're lifting it up to each side. When you're ready, take the right arm across the body but keep the head and neck involved. See what juicy spots this opens up for you. So you're undulating, moving the spine. It's almost like a seated cat-cow where you can just really keep it in a rock forward and back while also stretching the shoulder behind the shoulder blades combining all the movements we've done so far. Circles with the head and neck. Let's keep doing this with the right arm. We're just gonna change the position. So holding the right elbow behind you best you can with the left hand. Circles on the ceiling with that right elbow. You can keep rocking. Allow this to develop and spiral however feels good for you. If you get in your head about what you should be doing, think of the palms face up that we started with right below the navel. Drop your energy down into that space. And maybe take the circles the opposite way. Other arm, left hand across. Like a spinal flex, pulsating the pelvis forward and back. Also inviting the head and neck. about how seaweed would move underwater. Maybe you want to circle the torso and the hips. Let's switch to holding the elbow. This time left elbow is going to paint some big circles on the ceiling. Back bend, side bend, forward bend. Opposite way. Let it feel good. Carefully reach both arms up. You're gonna slide the hands down to the crown of the head, down the sides of the face, touching your skin, touching your breasts, torso, hips, back to thighs, hands on the knees, Sufi circles now. Let them be the deepest, richest Sufi circles you've ever done. Rocking the forward with the pelvis, rocking back, just making this a natural, organic unfurlment, <laughs> if that's a word, of what you've been doing. Feeling into the low back, any juicy spaces here. Reverse direction if you want to. Mm, coming on to all fours. Cat cow with shoulder rolls. Inhaling into your cow, but taking a moment to 
bend the elbows, micro bend the elbows, do some shoulder rolls here. Exhalation, chin into chest for your cat pose. I want you to wag your cattail side to side. You can take your booty a little bit closer to your heels. So we're not really moving on one breath per movement. You're moving on your embodied breath, maybe two or three breaths in cow. In cow, you micro bend the elbows, really roll the shoulders. Or if you want to explore with the head and neck, shifting your weight left to right. In your cat pose, you're taking your sit, sits bones much closer to your heels than you might normally. And then again, wagging the hips left to right, feeling that stretch in the low back. Close your eyes. get heady just think of dropping your energy to below your navel just like an elevator has floors and levels we're at floor zero or basement not above Sitting back on the heels, another shoulder stretch. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, cactus them back. Inhale, take your right elbow underneath your left. You can press the backs of the palms or back of the hands together, relaxing the shoulder blades back, or you can come into a full eagle wrap or just hug yourself. We're gonna paint again. So coming up onto the knees, if it feels good, painting with the elbows. I like to alternate between sitting on my heels and coming up on my knees. It's like the elbows wanna paint now a huge circle in front of you. Or maybe they wanna paint a figure eight. Play with shifting your weight side to side, more on one knee and then the other. And if you don't like being on the knees, you can do this in any position. Swaying with your ego wrap, flossing the shoulders. Head and neck can also move and spiral. Just listen to what feels good for you, what wants to open. Can play with stirring the cauldron if you like so the elbows come forward and back in more of a circle like as if you're painting a circle on the ground play with how close the elbows are to your body as well so many levers you can play with so pulling the elbows close into you Maybe you want to curl up in a little ball, like a child's pose. And then pulling the elbows away from you like someone had a hook. Maybe you even rise up onto the knees. Last breaths to play here. Integrate it all. Big breath in, releasing the arms. Noticing how your back may feel different. Let's just reach a little bit here. So reach with the right hand and then the left. If there's something you really want above you. Lengthening through the side body. Huge inhale. Big exhale, elbows back, cactus. Inhale, this time left, under right. You know all the movements that we can experiment with now. So just do your own dance. Painting forward, painting on the floor. Child's pose, elbows close, elbows far away. Figure eights, just a sway.
You never get to move the shoulders in this way. So let your expression get really full, really rich. If you wanted to dance out an emotion that you're feeling here with these bound arms, what would that look like? Eyes closed, maybe hip circles if you're up on the knees. Maybe you want to make circles with the palms, the elbows close to you. Release and let that go. Reach the arms up. Big finale move for the low back. Roll the wrists. Roll the wrists. Palms plant. Downward facing dog. Bending one knee and then the other. Feeling into the low back. The hamstrings. Walking the feet and the hands towards each other. Nice wide base. Feet are as wide as your hips. Bend your knees generously. Take the hands behind you to cup your heels so you're literally standing on your fingers or your palms. Bend the knees as deep as you need to to have your knees in your armpits and let the head hang. You're not straightening the legs, you're not straightening the arms, you're just rolling the weight now into the balls of the feet and send breath into your low back. super grounding posture. You should feel a lot of energy in the legs. Sits bones rooting up, crown of head, heavy chin into chest on the floor. And think about widening your low back, left to right with your breath. Just one more breath here. Good, place the hands on the floor in front of your feet. Stretch the legs. Straighten them if you like, then rebend and let the torso dangle, move side to side. Slowly roll up, one vertebra at a time, coming to stand. Rolling your shoulders down and back, bringing your hands to prayer, noticing how you feel. How are you doing physically, emotionally, energetically? Come back to this practice as much as you can, sending you so much love from my heart to yours. Namaste. I've linked up some similar classes and relevant blog posts on this topic, along with some free gifts in the description box down below to help you take your practice deeper. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Namaste.